What is going on i Warriors? It's your boy Edward V and today I'm going to talk about a study that dives deeper into the peripheral effects of intermittent fasting. One argument that's constantly held up against intermittent fasting is that the health benefits are only being viewed or the biological body modifications are only happening because of the weight loss. It isn't specifically because of intermittent fasting, it's specifically because of the weight loss. I and mean, I've talked about studies before that do independent of weight loss to see if intermittent fasting has specific benefits and those have shown that it does. This study dives even deeper to see the different effects that happen biologically while doing intermittent fasting regardless of the weight loss. I'm going to dive into that in this video. Stay tuned. Before I start, one thing is that this study was done with rats. It wasn't done with humans, but it is very particular. So I do want to select this study and talk about it. I like to talk about the human studies more uh, because it's closer related to humans. However, the control that you have with the protocol of the study design is unparalleled when you can literally control every single aspect uh, when doing a study with rats. And you can still compare and contrast it with other rats. And when this is done, it can give us an insight into what can be happening with humans. Of course, these studies would have to be replicated in humans, but the amount of control that they have with the rats would be very difficult to pull off with humans. Now, this is a new study led by Kanauchi and colleagues in which they try to look at fasting and how it affects the circadian clock. So the oscillators for the circadian clock, the genes that mobilize and move and do things biologically to render the micro effects that happen within the circadian rhythm. Now the circadian clock is dictated by a lot of factors. And one factor that this study is further proving is that food is a peripheral oscillator to inducing elements within your genes that go with the circadian rhythm. Your body utilizes the signals of light and utilizes the signal of darkness to determine where you are in the circadian rhythm. It's something that can be seen in something called the suprachiasmatic nucleus. And the peripheral oscillator within that nucleus is food intake. And they wanted to see if this was the case. So what they did is they had the rat in locations in where it was completely dark so they eliminated the master pacemaker and then they would put them through series of fasting through series of eating to see how their bodies responded not in terms of body composition not in terms of any of that what they were looking for in the study was to see how the genes were responding all the positive oscillators that come with the circadian rhythm they found that fasting was eliciting specific tissue responses they noticed really intricate and interesting factors like the respiratory rate they noticed that oxygen and energy were utilized less in those fasting and utilized heavily as soon as they ate. So the mice were more efficient when in a fasted state, according to the gene molecules. And I don't want this video to get lost in the science, but the study and the paper is very heavily based on biology. And one thing that they saw is that it induced a switch in the temporal gene expression due to the dedicated fasting sensitive transcription. So looking at all the biological factors of the fact that just the rats were fasting even in complete dark straight through in a 24-hour period they noticed that the positive elements of the circadian rhythm were heavily increased and amplified when fasting versus when the rats were eating and they tested it with dark versus light and obviously in the dark it was heavily amplified but if the rats ate during that time it was completely reversed so what the results of this study is is showing is that fasting seems to be a very very strong metabolic cue for the rhythm expressions of the body especially within the gene and although it's hard to understand exactly what this information represents it shows that intermittent fasting is actually accomplishing something within the body regardless of burning body fat tissue regardless of weight loss regardless of all of those things that would just come from caloric restriction. Caloric restriction can help with body composition. Intermittent fasting can help with that as well. But there are certain elements that happen within intermittent fasting that caloric restriction cannot do simply because of the constant eating. So this study is very interesting in the fact that it's diving so far down to find out what else is happening in the body. Why are these functions coming together that can create an overall healthier base? It's studies like this that do deep dives that gives us that insight on the complexity of why intermittent fasting separates itself from simply 
caloric restriction. There are hormonal elements going on, there's gene elements going on, there's circadian rhythm attachments where they're amplifying certain things in the body. This is why this study, although done with rats, is extremely, extremely interesting because even with the two rats put together, one eating during light and one eating during dark, and one not eating during light and not eating during dark, we get to see the differences in genes within mammals. And one important factor that these researchers touched on is that what ends up happening is once eating, once you commence your eating, or once the rats started to eat, they noticed that the body was able to work more efficiently within the breaking down of the food, within the food distribution, within the glucose distribution. The liver usage was increased, the muscle usage was increased. It primed their body for the food intake. So one thing that these researchers are getting from this really detailed, very cellular biological study is that intermittent fasting, although it does all of these health benefits within the body, it can also create a better food anticipation system. And not a lot of people talk about that. Not a lot of people think about that. I hope this video was very informative for you. I will link the study down in the description below. Also, this video is sponsored by Flex Pro Meals. If calorie counting has become just a nuisance for you, you cannot go wrong with Flex Pro Meals. They send you the meals, they give you the macro breakdown, they give you the calorie breakdown. All you have to do is toss it in the microwave for three minutes and you will be all set. The link will be in the description below and all you have to do is enter the promo code FLEDGE20 and you get 20% off your entire first order. And of course, I wanna thank my patrons for my Patreon and I'm gonna put their names right up here.